now that it has stopped raining, I can show you around town a little bit. So here we have the main plaza. It's pretty touristy. Oh, I mean, I'm pretty sure almost everybody, almost every tourist who comes through Cusco to see Machu Picchu at some point comes here to get on the train or they take the train directly from Cusco. A lot of options I seen in purchasing Machu Picchu tickets is you take a taxi or local transportation to Oyente Tambo and then from Oyente Tambo you get on the Inca rail or the Peru rail to get to Machu Picchu. But here we have the main plaza which I'm not sure what this tree is. It's like hanging balls. They kind of look like they kind of look like a mixture of a coconut mixed with a pineapple, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I know it's something, I just don't know. Oh God. <laughs> you dog. You dog, you. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot him away with a broom. Get out of here. We just saw one dog mount another dog and the uh, local municipality staff <laughs> shoot the dogs away with a broom like get out of here. Stop doing that shit here. It was just it was pretty funny. There's dogs everywhere around here. That window right up there is where we ate yesterday while waiting for our Airbnb host to have the apartment ready. And when we first got here four days ago before going into Aguas Calientes. That window right there in between the two trees is where we ate. And maybe we'll eat somewhere else tonight. I don't know. Maybe we'll go to the local market and get some ingredients to make our own dinner. What do you think, Nicole? We don't have any small soles. That's true. So just like in Lima when we were trying to shop in the street market, you don't want to just give them a hundred because <laughs> That's actually rude because they're not they're not dealing with that kind of currency every day. So right. it's important to have smaller denominations of soul. So the way we've been making change is just by going to these established, you know, these, these touristy restaurants, and just giving them hundreds and getting change because, you know, it's not like the States where you can go into any store and they have a change for a hundred all the time because they have a constant supply of cash. Right. So that's yeah, just the way it is, though. Which is okay. So right behind me is the main square. We're gonna walk down a side street here. And I'll turn the camera around so you can check it out for yourself. Notice all of the, notice the stones on the, on the ground and on the sides. Because this town was built upon Incan ruins. Notice the drainage system built into the road, the side of the road. Three soles, 50 centimos for that one kilo of laundry. <laughs> we got ripped. So as you can see, this is modern mortar to keep it in place, but these rocks were stacked by the Incas, which I think is just remarkable. <laughs> If you are ever in Cusco or you ever ever decide to do Machu Picchu and you're in Cusco, most likely, unless you take a train directly from Cusco to Aguas Calientes, which is where the Machu Picchu train stop is, 
um, you're gonna have to pass through Oyente Tambo and get on the Inca rail or Peru rail to get to Aguas Caliente. So I highly recommend, do not rush. Do not do the all in one day, 17 hour Cusco to Machu Picchu and back all in one day. It's too much of a rush. I highly recommend spending a few days in Oyente Tambo, spending a few days in Aguas Calientes as well because it is so rewarding to be able to walk around these towns and just experience the authenticity of real Peru. Yeah, granted a lot of it is um, touristy restaurants and little touristy gift shops which are a little overpriced but if you just walk a little bit out of the main square in most of these towns prices will be a lot cheaper and you know you get you get your more authentic stuff it cleared up that's awesome it'll probably start raining again in an hour So this is so cool. I mean, these are modern, modern homes and businesses built into Inca ruins. So modern day society, modern Peruvian society has assimilated these Inca ruins. Now, I understand this town is not new. It's been here for a long time. I don't know exactly how long, but it's just so fucking cool how I'm walking down this rock road right now and Incas also walk down it. And again, I don't know if it's the original drainage system, but if it is, that is, that is astounding. So we are going to go and check out those archeological ruins that we went to yesterday, but it was a little too rainy for our liking. And luckily today is a beautiful day, even though it's rainy season. So we got lucky. So we are going to go check out these Incan ruins. something important to keep in mind if you're visiting towns like this a lot of these towns in Peru I've noticed have a main plaza and all of the restaurants directly on the main plaza are always going to be more expensive than if you just walk a couple blocks into town and go down a street somewhere and find a restaurant that way so that's uh so that's just an easy way to save a little bit of money for every meal that you eat This is one of the sacred, this indicated uh, a sacred area because it has the, uh, the 90 degree corner right there. Um, well, let's go, let's go use the internet and then, I don't know, figure it out from there. They said they open it too. They were awesome. They were pretty awesome. We just checked out of our Airbnb and it is now time to take our taxi back to Cusco. We're leaving Oyente Tambo. Gracias, Jose. Hello. Gracias por su paciencia. Perfecto. 
Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Gracias.